Welcome fans to 2K Sports Tuesday night presentation of NBA basketball. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Milwaukee Bucks going up against the Boston Celtics. With Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg, I'm Kevin Harlan. And we've got David Aldridge reporting in from the sideline. These teams, Clark, each have impressive assist totals. Two of the best passing teams in the league. No question about it, Kevin. I love the way these teams share the ball. It finds the open guy with both of these teams. The sharp movement of the ball and players, beautiful to watch. Now, here is Bird. He played real well against Atlanta in that last game. From range, Boosie can be pretty fearless. He's confident he can hit these shots. Passes it to Monty. Here's the dude, lets it go from deep. That one's no good, 0 of 1 to begin the game. Here's Boosie, Johnson, and he gets the button. Love the dish from Boosie right there. Great at finding open teammates. Here's the dude. Tries it from the top of the key. Ball's knocked loose. Johnson, the pass to the dude. That's in there, Johnson with the assist. That's just a really smart, high IQ play, making the taller defender run around on the perimeter so you can get what you want. Yeah, it's smart to use your speed to your advantage in these situations, which is exactly what he did. And the basket by Boosie. How about that wonderful floater he has, showing off an exquisite touch. Here's the dude. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. A red-hot beginning to this game. Well, he's a real good offensive player, so they want to get him going early. Boosie, the pass to McHale. Parrish outside. Here's Boosie. And there are the Celtics with another basket. Look at Boosie trusting his reflexes. He gets the ball goes right into his motion. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. About two minutes played here in the first quarter. Here's the dude. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. A good job preventing the layup. I think it's smart to make him earn it from the line. Yeah, intelligent defense there. The coaching staff encourages these guys to do whatever they can to avoid giving up easy buckets. He hits the second from the line. The Celtics have gone 4-4 four four to start, so a nice offensive rhythm to start here. Johnson, the pass to Parrish. Back to Johnson. Pass to Bird. That one falls, coming off the Johnson feet. You can rely on Johnson for superb passing. He knows how to create for his teammates. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Danny Ainge has checked in for Boston. Second team foul. Coming onto the floor for Boston. Number 44, Danny Ainge. Here's the dude. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Celtics leading by four. Johnson outside. Off target from three-point range. The Bucs have gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Here's Moncrief, banked in off the glass. You know, even though he's about 6'4", Moncrief is comfortable looking to do work inside. He's not afraid of anybody in there. Now Johnson. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. And here's Bird from the arc. Here's Parrish. It's deflected. Here's the dude. And he hits it to tie the game up. The dude's got nine. And you know, the ability to knock down 
the mid-range shot can be an equalizer against bigger defenders. Absolutely. Draw them away from the rim where their size becomes a hindrance. Incredible finish. And they made it look easy. Don't you love to see that? Beautiful alley-oop. Wow. Talk about a major throwdown. That was special. They now take the lead. 12 points for him. He is a challenging matchup from out there. To knock down even the toughest shots. Johnson surveying the floor. Pass to Ainge. Shoots over Moncrief. The shot by Ainge, no good. Even though they came up empty, that's exactly the shot they want. They'll take that kind of look every time down the floor. Hopefully with a different result next time. Here's Johnson. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They are coming off that win against Atlanta. You talk about an impressive road dub. They were fantastic in a very tough environment. And that shows how mentally tough this group can be. Took the crowd out of it and delivered a well-earned win. Bucks on defense. It's a three-point game. Now the pass to Pierce. And it's blocked! And he keeps control of the ball. Stolen by Parrish. And it's Parrish finishing it off. Parrish cleaning it up for his team, using his length to protect the play and get them the basket. Here's the dude. No good from outside. Lockdown defense against one of the best three-point shooters in the league there. And that's the only way to stop him. The defender has to be all over him with a hand right in his face. Right from the jump, these teams have been on fire offensively. It certainly made this an exciting early game. Bassers just keep falling. And this makes the coaching staff happy. They love when someone like him makes an effort to box out. Great work. And a miss there on the triple. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide-open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. Goes up the baseline. That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip, 5 for 10. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. He dishes it to Ainge. Back to Johnson. And it's good, two points. Johnson's got eight points. Tell you what, this has been so much fun to watch. Both of these teams throwing haymakers. They're giving the fans their money's worth in this one. Both sides competing at a high level. Timeout called the Bucks. Maxwell, he's checked in for Kevin McHale. Here's the dude. A nice jump shot from the top of the key. 16 points for him. These teams have really gone back and forth. Yeah, you know, five lead changes already, partner, and this one's definitely going to be a battle. And another basket for Milwaukee. A nice first quarter of play. We've seen plenty of offense so far. Milwaukee on top. Finishing the quarter on a tremendous 8-0 run. And we'll get going after this from UW-Milwaukee Panther Arena. It's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Their early focus on outside scoring has paid off. They're finding plenty of points from three-point land. Cultivating a lot of assists right now, which is beautiful to see. Love the way they're working that ball around. 
just five on the clock. A second chance effort. Rebounded by the Celtics. Maxwell, the pass to Buckner. McHale on the wing. Buries the long-range jumper. McHale's got it all tied up now for the Celtics. McHale always ready to catch and fire. Great confidence in his offensive game. Macy passes to McKesson. Top of the key, Pressy. Up and in, off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. And that's a tough shot, but Pressy makes it look all too easy. Pass to McHale. Nice move. And the layup is up and in. McHale's got five points now this quarter. Well, that time he got the defense off balance with the well-timed pump fake. Nice work. Macy passes to the dude. Krill's the three-pointer. The dude's got the lead up to three now for the Bucks. The Celtics shooting has been terrific. 54% on the game. He lobs it up. Way to set up the alley-oop. Oh, the catch and flush. If they can come all the way back, we'll remember that one. The dude passes to McKesson. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It goes on Kevin McHale. Well, we're right around the midway point park of the regular season. Can a team change their identity at this point? I think it's possible, but it's not probable. Unless you make some kind of a monster trade. You know, the DNA of, of your squad and its makeup, you do that during training camp. So I think during the season, that's a hard thing to, to switch. No good on the second free throw. Here's Pussy. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And man, does Boosie play hard on both ends. He really takes pride in wreaking havoc and coming up with steals. Austin shooting their first free throws of this game. Good on both. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Here's the dude. 21 points in the game. Solid shot from the distance of about 14 feet. The dude's got five points in the quarter. And he's been in the zone so far. Getting to his spots and going to town on the defense. Wachner the pass to McHale. And it's slammed in by McHale. Look at McHale getting after it. Soar is opening and puts it down. And Milwaukee has possession. Their last encounter was in Boston, where they were able to handle the Celtics. Shot selection was the key for them in that last game, in my opinion. We'll see if they can replicate that level of discipline going forward. You know Coach wants him to. Here's Wedman. No scoring in this one. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. Hey, we know every basket's a big one in a tight game, and he is not about to give up an easy look. Brewer is checked in for the Bucks. Moncrief comes in for Kyle Mason. And the Celtics also making a change. Parrish is checked in. Beyond the arc. Buckner, good. Buckner's got his first three points of the game. So good at using his height to scan the floor. Parrish capable of finding open teammates this way. The dude passes to Mike. Here's McKeskey. The Bucks working the ball around. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. Here's Buckner. The shot's good. And now a five-point Boston lead. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats here for the Celtics? They've been pretty intimidating on the defensive end, knocking away shots, containing shooters, and making it tough to find looks. But how about their scoring in transition as well? That's been a big factor to this point. Are those high tops or track shoes these guys? Good, he hits again. 
up and up he goes as he continues this sensational season. Now closing in on second place in scoring. And G.A., with the way he has manhandled defenses all year long, you have to think he'll make a good run for it. Pass to Maxwell. To the middle. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. And he's able to get it back. Back to McHale. Second shot opportunity. Here's the dude. 26 points for him. That's tipped. And pushing it up. Here's Boston. Buckner. Good. Buckner's got seven points. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Different look from Milwaukee. Jerome Kersey's checked in for Mokeski. And it's Johnson in for Pressy. Bird, he's checked in for the Celtics. Bucks trail by four. Here's the dude. Nailed from three-point land. The dude's got 29. Three-point shot has been his weapon of choice this quarter. Pass to Paris. Here's Buckner. Oh, and there's the alley -oop. And taken away by Johnson. Moncrief, El Sid with it. His last outing, he had 18 points. Here's the dude. And they're on the break. From 13. Again, the Celtics good for two. Oh, man, check out the handle. I didn't know he had that in his game. Milwaukee has gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark, shooting the three ball well. That was an excellent job on the glass there. He worked hard to establish position and put himself in a great spot to come down with the board there. The Bucks have gone 5 of 12 from the field here in the second. The 15-footer. That's in, and the Celtic lead is cut to just one point on the basket from the dude. Boston's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. The pass to Bird. Over Johnson. And there are the Celtics with another basket. He just makes scoring look so easy. Bird is especially dangerous from the mid-range area. Johnson surveying the floor. Here's the dude. That misses had a chance to tie it there. Celtics leading by three. To the paint. Cloaked loose. Here we go, all alone. And Moncrief gets it to go. And the defense has to keep an eye on Moncrief, especially when he's looking to score on the break. Austin's gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. Ochner the pass to Boosie. The Bucks making a switch here. Pressy is checked in. McHale's checked in for Boston. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Celtics lead by three. And will return shortly. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. We're seeing a tremendous game from the dude. Tell you what, if he keeps knocking down threes like we saw him do in that first half, it's going to be a long night for the defense. And as long as he remains hot, they're going to keep going to him. Let's see if the defense tries to rush him off that line. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Johnson outside. Six to shoot. Passes to the dude. Boston And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. Boy, he is all over that shot. I mean, had it read the whole way, got himself in the position, and then was able to make the play. Here's 
There's the dude. The shot goes down and it gets this game back to even. The dude's got the first points of the second half here for the Bucks. And so it's Boston with it. That's game four of four out on the road for it. Johnson outside. Parrish with the screen on Moncrief. Johnson takes the elbow jumper and trains it. Johnson's got 10 points. Nice shot. DJ loves to go to work in that mid-range area. Here's the dude. And trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. Austin's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. To the inside. The shot's good from Parrish. And now a four-point Celtic lead. And this demonstrates how poised Parrish is. Excellent at staying in control and being guarded closely. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. And the basket by Busi. Running the floor as soon as they have the ball. That's exactly how it's done. Textbook. Here's the dude. Milwaukee. No good that time either. And the shooter had really no airspace to get that shot off. That's good D. Yeah, terrific defense. Doing a great job contesting without foul. And the foul called on Kevin McHale. That'll be his second foul of the game. Boy, defensively, that's great anticipation. Moving your feet and drawing the whistle. Unafraid to put his body on the line. Bucks trail by six. Moncrief, the pass to the dude. 20 feet out. And Boston with the rebound. Parrish has got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Inside. And it's Bird with the jam. Not exactly known as a high flyer. But you cannot underestimate Bird. He goes up and punches that one home. Off the run. And another one falls. Amazing. He is now second all-time for points in a season. Truly a season for the ages. Pass to Johnson. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. But it's no good. Here's the dude. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. Striking it from distance. No hesitation at all. He's had it going. Been aggressive from outside. On grief against Johnson. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Parrish with the screen on Moncrief. Let's it go from 14. And it's Boston with another. Great to see Johnson taking over like this. Making himself a real weapon on offense. And the Bucks decide to take their first time out here. Already it's February. Let's see how the East is matching up. You look at the Bucks. What a run they've had this year in first place and charging seemingly at will toward the postseason. These guys have been outstanding. And, of course, there's Boston, nine games back. Bucks trail by four. And here's Moncrief. Eight points for him. Here's the dude. And another basket for Milwaukee. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Pass to McHale. Here's Busey. Puts up a three. And it's Moncrief with the rebound. On the wing, Johnson. And another basket for Milwaukee. You can count on Marcus Johnson, a reliable scorer who knows when to shoot. Austin's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Here's Boosie. He's got 11. And there's a whistle. There's a foul. That's going to go on the dude. That is his first foul of the game. Pressy's checked in for Kersey. Number 25, Paul Pressy. There's the pass to Boosie. Nice ball movement by Boston. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Moncrief. 
And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Boosie's got 13. He wanted to shoot that one, but saw his man wide open. Had to make that delivery. Johnson against Bird. Passes it to the dude. For the lead. Good! Another from three. Well, they have been raining threes here in the second half. And when a team is locked in like this from outside, they become hard to beat. Johnson outside. Rebound by Johnson. On offense here are the Bucks. They're on a 13-4 run right now. Wasted no time on that one. moncrief has got the lead up to three now for Milwaukee. Here's Boosie. 13 points in the game. Pass to Bird. Takes a three. Boosie no good. Bucks leading by three. It's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. And the Celtics making a change here. Ainge has checked in. Pass to the dude. Let's it go with a three. He can't hit that time. Excellent D there by Johnson. Ains against Moncrief. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. It's on Sidney Moncrief. Credit the defense for getting on age, but Danny stays agile and gets by them. And the Milwaukee in the lead. Here's the dude. Puts it up from 17. And good! He nails it. The dude's got 47 points. These offenses have been so sharp, so focused, so dialed in, and neither one is slowing down in the late game. If anything, I think they're gaining momentum. Both determined to run up the score as much as possible. A shot's good from Parrish. No easy way to contain Parrish inside. At seven feet tall, he often has the advantage. The dude missing. Well, that was a nice individual defensive effort there. Did a great job to contest the deep ball. The pass to Boosie to take the lead. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. Tremendous momentum building toward those final possessions. Yes, sir. I mean, with eight lead changes so far, Kevin, it feels like this is going to come down to whoever has the ball last in the last shot. First team foul. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Here's Ainge from outside off the mark. That's what they wanted there on offense. He missed that one, but Coach has to love the look they got. It's good. Clever pass by Macy. He spots a guy ready to score and makes sure he gets the ball. Here's Boosie. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. And there are the Celtics with another basket. Bucks have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Macy passes to the dude. Goes up to the stripe. And another basket for Milwaukee. That's exactly the shot they're looking for. That's the one they wanted. Get it into his hands and let him do his thing. You have to lean on your guys in close games like this. The NBA is a star's lead. Maxwell, the pass to eight. Down low. Got a hand on it. Here's Macy. A stupendous finish in traffic. Macy's got his first bucket of the night. And now we'll get perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Bucks. 
They've been so aggressive getting out on shooters all game long. Nothing's getting past this defense, and that, to me, has been impressive. And you've got to respect their energy level. A lot of steals, to their credit, staying active and making things happen. At the line for two. The first one falls. What I like about Ainge, he looks like a choir boy. But he's a fighter. Moncrief, he's checked in for Milwaukee. And the Celtics also making a change. Dennis Johnson's checked in for Wedman. Both free throws good for Mange. The Bucs have gone an outstanding 4-5 of five from the field in the fourth quarter so far. Tipped away. It's stolen by Johnson. And there's a whistle. There's a foul. That's going to go on the due. That's his fourth foul of the contest. The next foul will put them in the penalty. You have to be careful now. You don't want to give away free points at the line. And the Bucks making a change here. Thornton's checked in. And the Celtics also making a change. Redmond's checked in for Danny Ainge. Tries from 16. And the jumper is good. And the Celtics lead by two. I think he's got to show more fight than that. Can't give up on the play once you get screened. you got to continue to fight through. And Coach is definitely going to be frustrated with that effort. Or lack of one, that is. It's good from long range. This, Mike, is the very definition of a back-and-forth game. It's been so fun to watch. Neither side taking its foot off the gas. I'm expecting a spectacular finish. I am, too. Tries from 16. And the basket by Busi. Busi's got 11 points here in just the second half. Nothing the D can do about that. Busi is fantastic at keeping his balance while shooting. Passes it to Macy. The Bucks working the ball around. Johnson over to help. The dude. Parrish grabs the board. Parrish has got rebound number 15 here tonight. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Ball on the string, just getting anywhere he wants to go. Bird, he's checked in for the Celtics. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Boston? You know, all game long, they've imposed their will on the interior, scoring a lot of points in the painted area. They're also finding a lot of points tonight off transition play. Running the floor and using the fast break to beat the defense down the floor. Kersey taking things into his own hands with Ted Aliou. Lobbing his way in. He's going to make it happen. To the paint. Here's Wedman. Sinks the 15-footer. Wedman's got five points now this quarter. Boy, the coach must have lit a fire under them at halftime. Oh, yeah. They've upped the intensity. Playing with passion. Great to see. The dude misses. And so Bird will bring it up for Boston. They lead by four. On grief against Johnson. Johnson draws the double. Shot clock at six. Here's Bird. It's blocked. Solid work on defense from Kersey. Gotta love when he hustles and comes up with the blocks. In the slam dunk by Johnson. This guy's a baller. Marcus Johnson knocking down another big time shot. No surprise to me. Kevin McHale, he checked in for Wedman. At the line for Milwaukee, Marcus Johnson. One shot. And that one falls for Johnson. For Boston, they've gone 7 of 10 shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. Busey, the pass to McHale. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. And the Celtics lead by three. McHale handling his business. Never looking pressure or hurry. Unfazed. And that one's good, the dude. Even with the size disadvantage, he comes up big. That is clutch shooting and determination. A lot of skill, too. Busey, the pass to Pierce. Here's Busey on deep. Good, and the assist goes to Parrish. Parrish has got four assists now tonight. One of the best ways to respond to a trifecta, knock down one of your own. You fight fire with fire. Match him up. Close, but no good. He almost tied it up for him. I think the pressure got to him a little bit. He was maybe rushing it just a hair. Number five, fifth personal foul, 15 foul. 
Shooting for Boston, Dennis Johnson. Two shots. And that one falls for Johnson. Hey, the respect Johnson's teammates have for him is obvious. They trust his decision making and follow his lead. And so he hits both. Unfazed by the moment, he delivers when his team needs it the most. Bucks trail by five. Here's the dude. The long distance three is barely. The dude's got 58. Boy, that's a sweet looking shot from long distance. To major confidence on display. Timeout call, the Celtics. They're ahead by two. 158 left in the fourth quarter of this one. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What do you got for us, D.A.? Guys, during that last break, I listened to Casey Jones address his team. Now he reminded his team, keep looking for the deep ball. If the three is there, take it. You've done a good job getting those looks, so keep taking them. Back to you guys. All right, David, thanks. On defense, the Bucks. Pass to Bird. But Trey. And it's Parrish with the jam. Big shot that time from Robert Parrish. This is why his guys trust him so much. He delivers. Here's the dude. No good on the three. Celtics leading by four. Pass to Bushy. Baseline J on the way. Up and in. That's his 10th make in the contest. He has only taken 13 shots. The sweet mid-range jumper of Boosie. Man, is he on the money from there. Good. That's another bucket. Well, that's a fearless move right there. Coming up big against the bigger defender. And not just by a little bit. He was giving up a lot of size there. But with a the basket there being so important to them, he didn't let it throw him off. He's a three. A three-pointer is right on target. Boosie's got 28. An outstanding find by Johnson. Very comfortable at the one or the two spot. Timeout called the Bucks. They trail by seven. 107 left in the fourth quarter. Seven left in the fourth quarter. Celtics leading by seven. And there's the pass to Bird. McHale plus second chance points on the tip in. Relentless on the boards. McHale will outwork any opponent. You have to try to match his level of energy. Here's the dude. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Defender was right there in his airspace, and he still gets it to go. This guy is unbelievable from range. Here's Boosie, and it's stolen by Moncrief. You know, they've got to get a quick basket. They need to get busy in a hurry. Score, and then foul to stop the clock. He's been a dominant force on the glass for them in this one. Credit that to his physical play down low. Boxing guys out and winning those battles for the ball. At the line for the Celtics, Dennis Johnson taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight-point game. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. They're down by eight. 23 seconds left to play in the final quarter.
23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Connects again from distance. And that's an intentional foul. Milwaukee foul. Sidney Moncrief. Fourth personal foul. Shooting for the Celtics. Dennis Johnson taking two shots. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. He's able to hit the second one, and that increases their lead to six. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. They're trailing by six. 20 seconds left in the fourth. Guys, what's your take? Boy, they need to respond fast. Preferably a three, if there's a clean look. Here's the dude. Yes! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. When you need points and chunks, dial up the bombardier. He's keeping him right in this. And there's a whistle. There's a foul. That's going to go on the dude. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. And so it's Boston scraping by with the win. Talk about grinding it out, Coach Fratello, and on the road, no less. Boy, this is a nice win for him. They certainly were tested here. Have to appreciate their perseverance. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, and our entire 2K crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time.